Good morning, everyone. Uh, it is actually Thanksgiving Day today, but since we had our Thanksgiving last week, I am going to film a what I eat in a day for protein sparing for you guys today. So we will get to breakfast as soon as we come back. With every star, we are born again. Open your heart. All right, so for breakfast, I am going to do um, egg coffee and then I'm going to do the egg white porridge. So let's get started with that. All right, I'm gonna do four egg whites. You can do egg whites right out of the carton and not have to worry about separating out the yolks. Um, it's cheaper for us to just buy five dozen eggs than it is to buy egg whites. And then I'm going to keep one egg yolk in there. You can plug it into your app and look at your macros and see, plan out your day so that you know exactly what you're going to eat. And um, then you'll know whether or not you can keep the egg yolk in or you need to get rid of the egg yolk. Yeah, okay, save the yolks for later. Um, you can throw them into your kids' scrambled eggs. Um, just a yolk or two extra gives them extra fat and protein or yeah, a little bit of protein and fatty vitamins. Then I'm going to add a splash of unsweetened vanilla almond milk just to kind of make it a little bit creamy. It's probably like three tablespoons dash of salt. I like to add a little bit of nutmeg and a little bit of cinnamon. And then I'm gonna do the Butter Stevia English Toffee. You could also do uh, maple extract with another sweetener of your choice. I'm just gonna do the combo because it's easier. Just a little squeeze. Basically, I'm making French toast without the toast <laughs> as egg whites. <laughs> All right. Then you just move your spatula back and forth to kind of scramble it up a little bit. If you've got a silicone coated whisk, you could use that. Um, this is a, a ceramic pan. So they say you can use metal on it. I don't ever. Um, these ceramic pans are safer than nonstick Teflon pans. But if the ceramic coating gets chipped, then you can actually access the, which underneath is aluminum, which is not safe for cooking on. So as soon as this pan chips, I'm gonna have to get rid of it. Um, so which is why I only use, this is actually a soft silicone coated. It's got metal on the inside and then it's coated with silicone. So it's nice and firm, but it doesn't hurt my pan. So I'll, Get as much time out of these pans as I can. I put it back into the bowl because it's hot enough. It'll cook the egg whites that are in there. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit more almond milk to it. And then you can decide if you want to put any butter in it or not, again, Put it into your app so that you know how much fat you're going for the day. Because for me, I go for like 30, 35 grams of fat a day on these super lean days. Yours are going to be different. So uh, you need to calculate about how much you want to do for the day. Some people who try to do protein sparing do 30 grams and they feel absolutely horrible. 
and then other people do 30 grams and still think it's too much. You're just gonna have to experiment for yourself. I, for a long time, didn't do the protein sparing days because I felt absolutely horrible if I even tried or if I thought about it. I just, I, I really did not feel comfortable with doing it. And the past three days I've woken up and I'm like, I don't want any fat today at all. Like none of it sounds good at all. So I'll go ahead and do some of these videos. So I'm going to, I'm not gonna put any butter in mine. It doesn't sound good at all. So I'm gonna throw a little bit more almond milk in there and probably maybe even top it with some more cinnamon. And that's gonna be my breakfast for the day. And this is the four egg whites. I'll pop up the macros right here so that y'all know what that looks like so you can get an idea. And then I'm gonna make my coffee, which I will also put up right here so that you know what that looks like. And I will see you guys at lunchtime. Alrighty guys, it's lunchtime. Uh, Bella's gonna help me. We're gonna make egg drop chicken soup. So I have some broth from Bella's Chicken Soup for the Soul. I'll link that right up there. I pulled out some broth. We did it with uh, chicken breast this time. So I have about three and a half ounces of chicken breast that I pulled apart to put in there. I'm gonna turn this on, we're gonna warm it up, and then I will drop two egg whites down into it as it's cooking, and we will show you what it looks like when that's done. There it is, uh, the broth that I made, and then chicken with a couple of egg whites dropped into it. Um, soups, even with super lean meats, is a great way to get in enough protein without adding a ton of fat because just a lot of times protein can be pretty dry. So if you add water to it, and then of course I've got all my seasonings as well, that makes it absolutely wonderful. Um, another option that you could do with this would be the Hawaiian sweet rolls to dunk it in there. Even though, yes, they do have egg yolks in them, it does not add that much fat at all. So that would be an idea. I'll link that. And then I will stick up the macros so that you know what my lunch looks like. Yeah, uh, we will, I'm gonna go eat this and then I will see you guys for dinner. Alrighty guys, it is dinner time. Um, I have here about eight ounces of chicken breast with a couple of tablespoons of my barbecue sauce. And I'm going to make sliders with them. I just finished a new pan of the Hawaiian sweet rolls. I'm gonna eat about four of them, which is about the same size as four pieces of bread. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do for my dinner. I'm gonna make myself some barbecue chicken sliders. I will stick up the macros right over here and then show you what my entire day looks like as well. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. I mean, when I do these protein sparing days, I literally just do the same thing over and over again because it works and it's simple. Um, some more options would be seafood if you can find it and if you can afford it. You always wanna to try to get wild caught seafood, oh, there's a puppy. You always wanna to try to get wild caught seafood. That can be super, super, super lean and make wonderful uh, additions to your protein sparing days. I'm gonna be honest, I do not do protein sparing days, but maybe once or twice a month. And that is only if my body really, 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 really does not want fat. Most of the time I want a lot of fat, a lot more fat than a protein sparing day. I don't wanna call it a muscle sparing day, but anyways, um, than a pure protein day would get me. So I rarely do them anymore. And I still have, according to everyone's number charts and whatnot, I still have weight to lose. I don't really care. 
because I am very happy with my body where it is. I am very happy with my mental state. I could stay right here at 155 pounds for the rest of my life and be totally fine with it. I feel good. My mental clarity is amazing. My attitude, my temperament, I can generally, you know, if something falls and breaks on the floor, I don't cry over it, I don't get upset about it. We just deal with whatever it is and you move on with life. I'm very happy being there. I have no intention of forcing my body to go any further because I feel healthy. And I think that we kind of need to reevaluate what health is. Everyone thinks that you need to be a certain size and you need to weigh a certain amount to be considered healthy. And in my opinion, I think that those numbers are wrong. I think that those numbers and those graphs and those charts and everything is again based off of standard American diet numbers and what they want you to look like. A lot of people, especially women, we do tend to carry more and I don't think we need to force it to fit into a box that some organization has created. And that's really what I hope a lot of people will go for. That's what I want your New Year's resolution to be as we're coming up upon December and then January where all the New Year's resolutions are begun. I really want everyone to reevaluate what they think beauty and health is. You don't have to weigh a certain amount. You don't have to wear a certain size. I want you to be comfortable with yourself where you are and know that no matter what, if you are eating this way, whether it's carnivore or keto or ketovore, you are eating the best food for your body possible and it's going to settle where it settles. Don't push it and don't strive for something that you may actually cause yourself some harm doing. With that being said, I'm gonna get down off of my soapbox. I'm gonna ask that you guys please do all of the things. Before you head out, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so as soon as I post another video, you'll know that it's up. Uh, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think your New Year's resolution is going to be. I know it's a little early, but we can start talking about them and thinking about them now. So uh, thanks so much for checking in with us today, guys. We will see you on the way. Bye. You think? What do you think, Billy? You think it'll work? Um, right there. Right, yeah, that'll work. Right like that? It's recording. Can I, can I talk to everybody first and then I'll let you help? Okay, you hold your spoon. Oh, it's already going. <laughs> That's funny. Where is it? Oh yeah, it's over there. Maybe I should, oh, let me, let me flip it. That would be better. Okay, can I pour it into my bowl now? A little bit? Or, 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 or I don't know, we'll it. see how much of it fits. Please don't do a lot of it. Why? Because I love to stir it. I love to stir it, huh? I love to just... eat it. Well, well, I'm pretty sure that's too much. Mommy, can you get a bowl? For what, my sweet love? Like stirring water, oh, like soup. Stop wiggling. It's probably fine.